Welcome to this week's Word Nerd Trivia Challenge. Each week, we're bringing you a 25-question quiz with five different categories. For each correct answer, give yourself a point. This week's categories are Band Names Making Monsters Friends of Friends on Friends Linkletter or Garfunkel and Roller Coasters. We're going to start with a level one card, and these should be the easiest questions of the bunch. Our first category this week is band names. I'll provide the source of the name. You name the band. What band is named after a beehive hairdo that resembles the nose cone of an airplane? That's the B-52s. Our next category is Making Monsters, and it's all about horror movie origins. I'll give the origin, you name the character. A serial killer fleeing from the police is shot and close to death. He tries to hide out in a toy store, but the police are hot on his tail. Luckily, he knows a voodoo ritual and uses it to transfer his soul into a child's toy. Who is he? That's the origin of Chucky. Our next category is Friends of Friends on Friends. What Oscar-winning actress played Chandler's former classmate, who was humiliated by him during a class play? Julia Roberts played the character, who was nicknamed Susie Underpants, because Chandler lifted up her skirt on stage. Our next category is Linkletter or Garfunkel. The category is all about art. I'm going to show you a painting, and you have to name the painting. Don't worry, one or two are gimmies. What is the name of this painting? That is Vincent van Gogh's classic, The Starry Night. Our next category is roller coasters, and these are, of course, questions about roller coasters. What's the oldest roller coaster still in operation? Leap the Dips, Jackrabbit, or Scenic Railway? Leap the Dips at Lakemont Park in Altoona, Pennsylvania, opened in 1902. All right, moving on to level two. What Redbone rapper's name came from an online Wu-Tang name generator? The answer is Childish Gambino. He was never a very good swimmer, so it should come as no surprise that he drowned while those camp counselors were off having sex. Well, except maybe he didn't drown. He was just chilling in the woods for like 20-something years. But then he saw somebody kill his mother, in self-defense, I might add, and that turned him into the killing machine we know today. Oh, and somehow he ended up in space. I, I don't know how that happened. That, that got weird. That's the origin of Jason Voorhees. What blonde actress legally played Rachel's sister? Her sister was played by Reese Witherspoon in two episodes. What is the name of this painting? That is Girl with a Pearl Earring by Dutch painter Johan Vermeer. What is the fastest roller coaster in the world? Velocicoaster, King de Ka, or Formula Rosa? And that record is held by Formula Rosa at Ferrari World Abu Dhabi. This roller coaster launches riders from zero to 149 miles an hour in five seconds flat. It's so fast, they have to wear protective goggles. Moving on to level three. What creepy band was named after a song on the Talking Heads album, True Stories? The answer is Radiohead. He was abused as a child, and that abuse turned him into a serial child killer. He was hunted down by a mob of vengeful parents and burned alive. But his spirit lived on in the dreams of the children of those very parents. Who is he? That's the origin of Freddy Krueger. 
What former child model played Joey Stalker? Brooke Shields was the stalker who believed that Joey was actually his soap opera character. What is the name of this painting? That is Edward Hopper's 1941 classic, Nighthawks. Not to be confused with Sylvester Stallone's 1981 classic, Nighthawks. What mine train roller coaster can be found in four different Disney parks? Adventure Express, Big Thunder Mountain, or Matterhorn? Big Thunder Mountain can be found at Disney parks in California, Florida, Tokyo, and Paris. Moving on to level four. What horror punk band named themselves after the final film of Marilyn Monroe. The answer is The Misfits. A little boy turns evil and kills his sister. He escapes from a sanitarium 15 years later and goes home to kill more people, which maybe includes his sister, but then maybe she wasn't his sister or maybe he didn't turn evil because he was being, like, controlled by a druid cult the whole time, and, you know, this one kind of got too confusing for its own good. That's the rather convoluted origin of Michael Myers. At least they haven't sent him into space yet. What future director of Iron Man had a recurring role as Monica's boyfriend, Pete? John Favreau played the USC-obsessed Pete for six episodes. What is the name of this painting? Now, you probably knew that was Salvador Dali, but did you know it was named The Resistance of Memory? What landmark roller coaster can be found on the corner of West 10th Street and Surf Avenue in Coney Island? Cyclone? Thunderhead or Big Dipper? That's the home of the Coney Island Cyclone, which has been thrilling riders since 1927. All right, this is level five. These should be the hard ones. What boy band named themselves after a flea market in Orlando, Florida? The answer is the Backstreet Boys. He was a very good boy. Yes, he was. But one day, he was playing in the fields and he chased a rabbit to a small cave. He got bitten by a rabid bat and he wasn't a very good boy anymore. Who is he? That's the origin of Cujo. And you know, the whole thing could have been avoided if his crappy owner just got him a rabies vaccination. What British actor is stuck next to Rachel on a flight to London for Ross's wedding? Hugh Laurie plays the passenger, who eventually calls her out on her selfishness and agrees that Ross and Rachel were on a break. What is the name of this painting? This is A Sunday Afternoon on the Island of La Grande Chate by George Surratt. We will not be accepting that painting from Ferris Bueller as a correct answer. What park has the most roller coasters? Cedar Point, Alton Towers, or Magic Mountain? Currently, that record is held by Six Flags Magic Mountain. They have 20 roller coasters. But good luck catching them all open on the same day. And that's it for this week's quiz. Add up your scores and leave them in the comments. While you're there, please do consider giving us a like and subscribing. We'll be back next week with an all-new quiz. Thanks for watching.